Okay, so we're going to go over some settings real quick. Um, so for everyone press escape and then settings. Go to the game tab. And then scroll halfway down to where it says crosshair configuration. I already got that. Where it says nation style, you want to change that to nail. Because we use that nail crosshair to aim with. And then also you can adjust the color of your crosshair. Like I have mine like pinkish purple, so it's easier to see. So you can adjust those sliders however you want for the colors. You want to uncheck dynamic crosshair. So dynamic crosshair, what it does is it like uh, starts off big and then decreases small. So it makes it think that like the longer you uh, aim that you're going to get more accurate, but that's actually not true. You're just the most accurate from the get-go. So you don't need to have that checked. It's kind of misleading. Some of us just like it. Go, go ahead and face towards me. And moving. So when you're moving in a line, you want to be following the person in front of you. Is he talking in? Can you not hear me, Crowley? <coughs> Someone else tell Crowley I'm not talking in voice. He's not Crowley. talking in voice. He's talking Crowley, you said he blocked you? Yeah. Crowley blocked me. Okay. So you just want to be following the person in front of you? I'm going to give you our movement commands now. Left flank march. So you're going to do a 90 degree turn to the left. Uh, can someone tell Crowley to reset Crowley, or to refresh his Discord or something? Can you go and reform on me? Reform one on me? So when you hear those left flank march or right flank march, you want to do a 90 degree turn to that direction and keep going. So our, our vertical line switches to a horizontal line. Left flank march. There you go. That's good. Right flank march. Now you're back on me. Go ahead and form on my shoulders. Okay, so you see how there's two lines of bucks in front of us. There's a uh, one on right ahead of us. There's one slightly to the right. We're always going to be aiming at the one on the left, slightly ahead of us. Yeah, I can hear you, Carl. So go ahead and take aim at the line on the left. And how we aim is we use that bottom upside down T of the reticle. We aim with that flat line, so the very bottom part of the upside down T. So we're going to do a leg shot. So you're going to put that bottom reticle on their lower legs. Take aim, and fire. So it'll tell you if you get a hit. It'll give you two points. So you won't hear a command to reload. Just reload as soon as you can. And smoke lasts a little bit longer than the vault than the reload time. Take aim. Oh, I forgot to mention this. When you aim, you should be aiming in first person. So press C to switch back and forth. So aim in first person because it's slightly more accurate for where your bullet's actually going to go. And then do everything else in third person. So, leg shot again. Ready. Fire. Hit. Hit. Also, to maximize your chance of getting a hit, you want to aim for the middle mass of the line. So, wherever the most people are or where it's thickest, the highly likelihood, the highest likelihood that you'll actually hit something. Okay, about face. Advance. When you hear that, you're just going to keep the straight line and just walk forward. Hold on my shoulders. About face. So I moved out of the line, so now there's a gap. Whenever there's a gap in the line, you want to move towards the middle. You want to fix gaps towards the middle, so both sides can move towards the middle. Shoulder to shoulder. Yep. You want to... No, no room at all. There you go. There you go. So you don't want to be aiming. Don't aim until you know that there's no gap. So like, so, so see, yeah. Still got a little bit. There we go. Okay, take aim at the same targets. We're still going to do a leg shot. So that bottom line on their legs, and fire. Hit. Good hits. Left face. Moving.
on my shoulders. Big steps towards the middle. Okay, take aim, same target. Now we're gonna do a waste shot. So you're gonna put that bottom line about halfway up the sticks. Take aim and fire. Back down. When you hear back down, you just press your S key. Keep keep where you're looking. Don't turn around. Just hold your S key. Back up. So you're gonna move back up to the line. Try to keep your spacing where you were. Don't aim until you're sure there's no gaps. So if it gaps towards me, take aim. Waste shot. Fire. <laughs> Hit. Thank you, sir. Oh, so COVID. About face advance. <coughs> Left flank march. Reform on me. Retreat. When you hear retreat, you're gonna do a 180, spread, and run away. You might also hear the re hear the retreat command when we're mid reload or when we're even aiming. You just gotta break whatever you're doing, jump or press X to break your reload, and then run away. Okay, hey, go ahead and reform on me. Oh no, they disabled the double jump. Yes, they did. Okay, form on my left. On his left. My left. Taking waist to shoulders now, so shoulders would be like three fourths away up the line. People also might call this a body shot. So waist to shoulders and fire. Oh, they're full on patched out. Yep. Back down, shift right. So now you hold both keys, and then right face on me. Hold on my right. Okay, we're gonna do a headshot now. So a headshot is taking that line and having it cover the top of their heads. So that's covering the buckets with that line. Take game headshot and fire. hit. So there's more RNG the farther we go backwards farther we're from the target so you won't be hitting all these times but what's important is that a few people in the line are hitting okay take aim same target we're gonna do another headshot don't shoot at fig use afk and fire back down shift left so you just hold both your a and s keys when i say left face that's when you turn So left, sorry, left face. Try to fix the line, don't cut the corners, you should be following the person in front of you. Form on my shoulders. Okay, we're a little bit farther back now, we're gonna do what we call a hat shot. So hat shot is putting that bottom line resting right on top of their heads. Just barely resting like a hat. Take aim and fire. Hey! Okay. So it helps if you do get a hit for you to type it in the chat or to just say it in the call. Like Solusium did. Also, if you press enter to pull up the chat and then press tab, uh, it should be two or three times for you guys. You should have a space chat if you're in the regiment, and then and you then can you type can... in that orange space chat. That's also helpful. <clears throat> okay, about face. Advance. Well, Pulling the new line. Resistate. About face. Fix the gaps. Always fix gaps towards the middle. Very good. Okay, so we're a little bit farther back now, so you might be wondering what do we do now? Now we just have air gaps above their heads, right? So what we do is we have a tick system. So a tick is the height of that line we've been using to aim with, just the horizontal line. So it's like a couple of pixels, it's a very small amount. So if I say one tick, you're going to put that height of an air gap above a hat shot. So you're just moving the reticle up one tick. 
So let's try one tick shot. Ready? Fire. Hit. Very good. So at this distance, only a couple of us will be hitting just because the RNG is that bad. Advance. Hold on the new line. <laughs> Always gaps before you aim. Fix gaps. Tick aim. Let's try one tick again. Ready? Fire. Got a hit. Back down. Good. If you're getting hits, that's great. But if you're not, don't worry. We're just really far away. Right face. And we're aiming at a stick. Yes, we are aiming at a stick. It's not perfect. Okay, hold on my right. We're even farther back now. Let's do two to three ticks. This is an exact science as well. So just two to three ticks, air gap over their head, take aim. Advance. Hit. Good. Give me a V formation on my shoulders. Yeah, so sorry. Um, Steam is where we're working right now. I hope right, it's able to be there. Don't worry issues. about it. Oh, it's Tuesday. Hold my shoulders. So when you're in that V formation, you should just glide easily into place where it should be. Take I aim. Uh, take I aim. Headshot. Ready. Fire. The board's gonna be eventful Got until then. Uh, see you guys later. That's okay. See ya. See ya. Back down. Shift right. Back up. Move back to the line. Fix gaps. Wherever the middle mass of that line is, shift towards it. Very good. Take aim, headshot again. Ready, retreat. Oof, that was Ooh, not good. A lot of you failed that one. Got okay, get him. your reloads if you fired. Get your reloads and we'll all judge you. Wow, fig. Okay, I'm, I'm disappointed. Me. So disappointed in figuring. I like firing. Because we do do that sometimes. Oh, well, that's good. But <laughs> we do do that sometimes <laughs> where we're ready to fire and then we like see something we need to get out of there quick. Like, like a cannonball. Shield. Yeah, like a cannonball. Slump on my shoulders. Take aim, headshot again. Ready. Thank you. Advance. Retreat. So when you hear retreat, you jump or press X, spread out, and run the opposite direction. Okay, reform on me, get your. about a shoulder or neck shot range. We're gonna do a different type of fire. We're not gonna do volley fire. We're gonna do what we call ripple fire. Ripple fire is when we fire in succession, going from left to right or right to left. You're, the officer will call it out. So we're gonna do a ripple fire from left to right. So as soon as the person on your left fires, you're gonna fire, but not before that point. So ripple fire left to right and fire. Good, good hits. Left face. You gotta be like a machine gun. Yeah, so make sure you're not doing it before the person on your direct left fires, but make sure you're also doing it pretty quickly after that person fires. Form on my shoulders. We're at a waist shot range. We're gonna do a ripple fire from left to right and fire. Right, someone fired early on the right there. Make sure you're waiting for the direct person on your left. Back down. Right face. On me. <coughs> right flank march. Left flank march. Good, that was very good. Crouch. 
if you put away your weapon when you crouch, you have a slightly smaller profile. You can do that by pressing one. Space. The final frenzy. Okay, on me. Taking aim at the same targets on our left. We're just using the hill for cover now. Form on my shoulders. So we are higher than the targets now, so we don't need to aim as high. So try like a shoulder shot. I don't see the okay, everyone advance. Uh, try Hold to on the, the new line here. Hold on the new line here. Everyone should be able to see him now, right? Yep. Okay, take aim shoulders. So whatever you see, you want to aim for the middle mass. If every one of those are enemies, aim for the middle mass. Whatever you can easily most best hit. The game and fire. Back down. Fake protects me. Those so this con we're not doing it super well, but this concept is called hill cresting. We're using the hill for cover and then we're moving back after we shoot so they can't shoot us. Uh bow face on me. This is dangerous work. On my shoulders. So we're gonna be shooting right in front of us at those small clusters in front of us. Aim at the closest one. The game and fire. We got hit. Shots. If you get a hit and I didn't call a shot call like I didn't just then, you want to give the shot call that you used as well. Because the officer isn't always going to give you a shot call. Advance on me. Please don't kick each other. Okay, we're going to talk about wings. So wings is, instead of using a hill, we're going to use a tree or a rock or something like that. So give me a right wing. So you're going to form on my right shoulder. Form on the shoulder of the person in front of you. So you want it as thin as possible. Here, uh, okay, everyone reset. Just step back a second. Ricky presents. So I'm gonna put a line down for where the thing, yeah, that's what we want. We want people like this thin. So go ahead and take aim at the targets. Viva Italia! He's a, he's alright. It's not terrible. Okay, take aim. Fire. Collapse. Hit. So that's a good volley, everyone shot at the good time, and then you want to collapse. Pretend that enemy line is actual enemies, you want to put the tree in between yourself and them as best as you can. Okay, give me a left wing, I'm not going to put a line down, but give me a left wing. As thin as possible. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Okay, take aim, and fire. Collapse. Back behind the tree. Okay, give me a left and right wing, both wings. So this is this is what we do if we have a lot of people in the line, which like we do now. So you don't want to aim until you're sure you're actually in line. Okay, take aim. Okay, the left wing is kind of yeah, janky. Kinda janky. There. You go. Okay, take aim, both lines, and fire. About face. It. On me. How line battles work is you go to them for at least private line battles. And there's three different specials. There's artillery, there's skirmishers, so that's like light infantry or riflemen, and then there's uh, cavalry. So anyway, um, so we have to sign up for those specials, and then the host, whoever's hosting the line battle, uh, basically gives them out to each regiment. So we don't always get them. So we'll always have line, but we might have a special. That's how it works. I just want to be some sort of support class, in a sense. Oh, okay. We usually run with at least uh, medic. Huh. And if we have a long line, sometimes we'll have a flag bearer or a musician. Yep. I like bagpipes, to be honest. Bagpipes are nice. Bagpipes are fucking awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna cover something new here. So, this is something we don't use a whole lot, but we should be using more. We're gonna do, split, we're gonna do splits of the line. So, when I put a line down, if I say a long split, or if I just say split the line, you're going to have two lines on the extremes of the lines. So go ahead and split the line. It doesn't have to be perfectly half, but you're going to get on the extremes. So then there's a gap in the line in the middle, which is perfectly legal. Because you, if you have at least three people shoulder to shoulder, then you're good. Okay, take aim, leg shot. Ready? Left line, fire. Okay, right line, fire. So try to listen for your... 
specific line call. Because the smoke is just so opaque, if you fire early, it's bad. Okay, left line fire. Right line fire. Both lines retreat. Okay, get your reload on me. Shouldn't have been reloading yet. Get it on me now, though. Okay, so that was a long split or just a normal split. We have another kind of split. Finish, boys. So that's. Oh, nice. It's a. Uh, never mind. So that's, called, so that's called the short split. So everyone just hold where you are right now. Is that moving? A short split, you're going to form on the middle points of the arrow. So one line's going to form here, and then one line's going to form here where Snowdrift is. So go ahead and short split the line. So you can form on either shoulder, but try to make it so the gap in the middle remains. Okay, there you go. Both lines, take aim. Both lines, fire. Back down. Hit it on chest. When you back down, you shouldn't be facing me, you should be just S-keying down. Advance back up to the line, this time switch to a long split. Take aim. Left line, fire. Right line, fire. Hit Advance. on chest. Back down. Reform where you were. Gaps towards the middle. There you go. Both lines to game. Both lines. Fire. Charge. When you hear charge, it's like retreat, except you're gonna break your reload and you're gonna just charge into melee. So when you hear this command, you, you cannot fire, because they'll get they'll get mad at you because for one you're not shoulder to shoulder of at least three people, so that's against the rules. And secondly, you shouldn't be firing when you're in charge. Okay, so to go ahead and Slug, why don't you go officer, and I'm gonna go cav, and we'll do a little bit of anti-cav. Okay, so cav has five different attacks. They can shoot you with their weapon. They either have a pistol, if they're hussar, or they have a little carbine, which is like a worse musket for the other class, the corsairs. They can also run you over, so if I'm going fast enough, I just Damn. ran over Slug. So he, what happens is he takes a little bit of damage, but what's worse is he's on the ground and vulnerable, and he also doesn't have his weapon out. It switches him to his fist, so that's kind of sucky for him. So those are the first two attacks, and then the cav also has three attacks with the sword. This is the most common one. This is the cav's right attack. When you see this, you want to left block the opposite. So you want to left block when you see this. This is the most common block you're going to be doing. So if you ever see cav, you want to just get in the habit of, okay, I need a left block to block this. So if you're all left blocking and I come at you, one of you is not left blocking, you're up blocking. Tickle monster. Yeah, left block. Other way. Left. Shift your mouse. That's a right. Shift your mouse to the left. Right quick look left. Yeah, like tilt your tilt your screen to the, and then to the left. There you go. There you go. Now you're left blocking. You are all invincible as long as you're holding this left block and I am attacking you with the right attack. Okay. So that's the that's the most common attack Cav's gonna use on you. The second most common is the pointy up. So when you see this, you're also going to up block. So if you're up blocking right now... Oops, I, I think you dropped it or something. Sorry, not so far. Okay, and then the least common is, is this awkward looking thing. Look at how I'm awkwardly switching my arm around my side like this. You're going to do a right block to counter this. But this is kind of awkward and only... Practice for this if you ever see it, but this is rare. Cav doesn't like to use it because it's a worse attack. So what you should you be doing right now? Correct? Left block. Up block. This one again? Left block. Good. Okay, perfect. Any questions on Cav? Uh, trees are your friend. Yep, so oh, if uh, we're... Uh, Go ahead, Gongus. Right. Sorry, I, I did the crosshair thing while I was watching the stream. Uh, oh, I didn't perfect. switch it though. Oh, you better respawn. Oh, I, oh shit, okay. Yeah, just respawn. 
Uh, question. Generally oh, no. speaking, if you if Cav's charging you and you're gonna fight him, is it best to downstab or upstab? So is it best to go for the horse or the rider? Is what I I'm think. I, well, okay, you definitely wanna go for the horse. Cause see how Snowdrop just hit my horse. I'm like basically stunned. So now I'm off my horse. He should be attacking me as soon as I get off my horse. Cause there's like two seconds where I can't do anything. Always go for the horse if you can. Yeah, and, and even more specifically, always go for the oh, rear of the horse. The rear of the horse is where I can't defend myself at all. I can attack anything like 180 in front of me, but the rear I can't at all. Yeah, perfect. So as soon as I'm down, you want to attack. So me and PRC are going to attack you guys. Just since there's only two of us, don't volley us. You're just going to be in melee immediately. In a real match, you'd probably want to try to try a volley us, because that's your best defense. Uh, so Alright, so what All I would right, say is three. if you're not sure what you need to be doing when you're getting attacked by Cav, throw on that left block and face the, the your closest Cav. Because just by blocking the Cav, you're helping the team, because Cav can only do one attack at a time. So All if right. you get that block, someone else can go in and get the attack on that horse. Scoot left to the tree, scoot left to the tree. Yes, yeah, so use the tree. Stay together, use the objects you have, because Cav doesn't want to run into the tree. I'm gonna give you the charge bonus. Charge bonus. Holy. Oh, I'll some guns of rain, sorry. <laughs> so the NCOs and the veterans, the people who have been here for a long time, they want to be the ones attacking. Everyone else should just be focusing on the block. <laughs> Very good, there you go. Crowley, Crowley snuck in and got me when I was stunned there. You, can't, you cannot, whoever's aiming, you cannot shoot us right now because you're in melee because you've been attacked by the cab. So when you're in that position, you have to use melee. Hold down that left wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so like Crowley and Solusium and <laughs> Why'd you kill and me? Slug, you guys should be trying to get at those attacks then. But I'm bad at melee. Well, let me try your best. I just didn't want you to be a camp so. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, I just team killed PRC again. I'm very bad. Okay. Okay, I'm, I survived. No one could, okay, good. There you go. Okay. Alright, well, let's go ahead and respawn at melee, and we'll talk about some melee uh, basic. Bayonet melee is pretty simple. Well, it, lo it, it, it appears simple at the start, because there's only two attacks. There's an up attack, and then there's a down attack. There's no such thing as a left or right bayonet attack. They don't exist. It's just up and down. So you'll learn to recognize this is an up, this is a down. It's just, it's pretty obvious what's going on here. So you block an up, a an up attack with an up block. So anytime you see this, you need to be up blocking to block it. Even if, and then anytime you see this, which is a down attack, even if I have it pointed up at your head, you still need to block it with a down block. So it does not matter where it's actually looking. We should have a, a battle royale. Yes, we will. We will in one second. I just want to cover the basics. Okay, so you got to match the block. Correctly. So, are, do you ever want to left or right block in a melee fight? No. Nope. No. Very rarely. Rarely. Not with bayonets, but against Cav who have swords or against others who have swords, you do. Because swords are all four directions, but we're not going to get super into that today. So, when you're in a melee fight, just remember with bayonets, only up and down block. Okay. So, melee is kind of turn based. So, what I mean by that is. You have the advantage at certain times. You have the time advantage. So, say me and Slug are fighting. Slug, Slug, I'm doing an up attack on Slug. So he gets a good block. So what happens in that fraction of a second after he gets a good block? He has a time advantage on me. So what that means is after he gets that good block, if both of us were to try to do an attack on each other at the same time, he would hit me first. Because he has the time advantage. So, same thing in reverse. So if I, so if I get a hit on him, so he does the wrong block, I get a hit on him. Say he didn't die, I would then have the advantage, and I would be able, if we both did the attack at the same time, I would hit him first. So basically what this means is it's turn-based. So you want to get...
get good blocks. And immediately after you get a good block, that's when you attack. Immediately after you get hit, that's when you should get in the mindset of, oh, I have to defend. So if you take damage, you got to switch to defending, get, get in the next good block. If you get damage on someone, you want to press your attack and try to get another hit. Okay, so we're just going to do a melee fight here. This is we're gonna do a little group fight. So this is like my practice all charge. Melee spacing. So after you die, just remain outside of the arena until the next round, and we'll do a couple rounds of this. So ready and go. So friendly fire is also also on. So you want to make sure you're not friendly firing your own team. Uh oh. Get him, Gongus. Nice, good team. I'm so bad at snow. <laughs> Ow! Oh, nice job. Is, are you in? Okay. Oh, nice job, Tickle Monster. Okay, everyone come back up. So as soon as remember, as soon as you get a good attack on someone, as soon as you give damage to someone, you want to be more aggressive and follow that up of attack. As soon as you take damage, you should get into the mindset of I have to get the next good block. Also, make sure you're holding down your block when they hit, because if you just tap it, you're you're just dead. Yeah, you have to hold the blocks until you see that it come up on your screen that you got a block. Okay, and go. I surrender. No. 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 <laughs> Apparently I'm rusty. Uh, uh, well, we're, we're gonna be done. Oh, God, you killed me. Kill me. Oh, for the line battle, of course. <laughs> My bad, bro. I was in for the other guy. It's all good. <laughs> so when you do your attack, you have a really long leeway for dragging the attack. So if I start all the way over here facing the ah. Russians, I can drag it almost like 180 all the way to the Italians. See how I can do that? So go ahead and practice doing that. Do an up attack and drag oh, it all sorry. the way. So this can really oh. catch people off guard. So you can be like not even looking at someone and see them on your side and then turn around and still get them with your attack. You're right here. You're right here. You can do that with both up and down attacks, so practice doing it with down attacks too. Okay, and then there's another tactic, this is a little bit more intermediary a tactic, called fainting. So fainting is just switching which attack you're going to do. It's tricking the other person into thinking you're going to do one attack and then doing another. So I'm in the middle jumping here. So say I come after PRC, where's PRC? Over here. Say I'm coming after PRC with an up attack. So he's, he's doing the correct thing, he's up blocking me. But what I'm going to do is I'm holding my left mouse right now. Now I'm going to click my right mouse. I'm gonna just going to tap my right mouse and switch to a down. I tap it again, I switch to an up. Tap it, switch it down. So if he's not keeping up with me, I can push this. And if he's not blocking right, I can actually get an attack on him. And if I just keep tapping my right mouse, he doesn't know what to do. Because I'm just like switching up constantly. He doesn't know like whether he should be blocking up or down. And then he did the correct thing, he just attacked me. So that's, that's how you can defend it against that as well. So just practice fainting. Find the person right next to you, and just practice one person block, one person faint. Oh. <laughs> I'll go if you uh, rush in medic. Uh, so remember, you want to get those good blocks, because after you get a block, you have the advantage. So as soon as you actually get a good block, switch roles. So as soon as you get a good block, you should be the one who starts the attack, okay? Ow. I don't get this. What do you not get? It's my block. How can we help you? <laughs> When you do a melee... I don't have the coordination for this. <laughs> okay, yeah, so 
if you just if you if you're super new to the game, I don't blame you at all. It's this is a kind of intermediary melee kind of thing, so don't worry about it. It's just you'll get used to it the more melee. When you do a melee, when you do a melee attack, you'll do a, um kind of like a whoosh. When you do a, any melee attack, when you hear that whoosh. If you cancel attack, you'll do a melee football. Good indicator. Yeah, as soon as you hear that whoosh, your attack is going to. All right, let's do yeah. another round. Ready, and go. Oh, oh no, my game. No, my computer's messing up. Oh, you can't do it. Attack the disabled people. Perfect. Fuck. Okay, someone is slow walking right now. Press shift to get out of that. Press shift. Okay. <laughs> okay, so PRC is the Russian and Mia Snow are the are space guys. So this is a 2v1 situation. So PRC has a massive disadvantage, right? Because he's fighting two of us and we're, you know, roughly even skill or whatever. Just su suppose that. Um, so what he's going to try to do is make it so he only has to fight one of us. So how he's going to do that is try to put either me or Snow in between the other person like this. Because that, that way, like, if I try to attack PRC, I'm probably going to hit Snow. I'm, I, and I don't want to T-kill Snow. So that's what he's going to be doing. He's going to be moving around. See how he's doing that? He's putting Snow in between me and him. And I'm trying to get around Snow, but he's doing a good job of not letting me. Alright, you have anything to add, PRC? Uh, I was talking about the, uh... Like, if you're in a... If you're in a 2v1 situation... Uh, this is Snow, right? Yep. Snow should be up attacking me, and Dr. Cool, you should be down attacking me, because I cannot block both at the same time. So, like, yeah, when you're in a 2v1, the other person's doing an up attack, try to do a uh, down attack to help them out. But if they both do an up attack, I can literally just block both. So, yeah, uh, so the ideal situation for me and Snow would be like this. We're sandwiching in him right now because he can't defend his back. He'd have to like quickly turn if we attack him at the same time. So if I have an up, Snow has a down, and we're both like on the backs of him, it's super hard for him to get out of this alive. See how he's moving? He puts Snow in between. So in a two v one or even in a three or four v one, you you're not you don't have your back against the wall. You can still get out of it by trying to make the other person team kill. All right, and go. Uh, oh, we touched him. Yes, it it helps to have a war cry. Yes. Uh, <laughs> nice Yeah! 